So I just got this screen for my a6500 so I can finally see myself while I'm filming, but now I'm really tempted to look up at the screen instead of looking down here at the lens. So anyway, that's beside the point. This video is gonna be about what to do if your BMW is ever recalled. I just got this recall notice in the mail today. So I don't think that I've ever covered this um, topic specifically in a video before, so maybe it'll help someone. So the recall notice that I got today for my E90 is about the blower motor wiring, and this is kind of old news at this point. Matter of fact, like last year, I made a video on how to inspect your blower motor wiring. Um, I'll link that down below in case you wanna watch that, but um, maybe somebody's watching this, maybe you're the new owner of a used BMW and you just haven't heard. Um, I'll kind of explain what this is about, and um, if, you, if your car is recalled, the steps that you take for it, so yeah. So if your BMW is affected by the recall or any other recall for that matter, you'll get something in the mail that looks like this. this is kind of like BMW's official um, recall notice and it kind of goes into more detail of what uh, the actual recall is about and it kind of explains the next steps that you can take. Um, in case you didn't get the letter, let's say you just changed addresses recently and you haven't had a chance to update your vehicle registration, or maybe this just kind of got thrown out with the rest of your junk mail, which I totally understand that happening. Um, you can always go on BMW's website at any time. They have a whole um, page on their site that's dedicated to recalls. So you can just put in your VIN number and then it will pull up a list of any recalls that are open for your car. So you can kind of go through and um, figure out what needs to be done if there is a recall open. So I would advise if you have a BMW, just check this website periodically because this kind of stuff does uh, easily get lost in the mail. So if it turns out that there is a recall for your car, BMW will replace the parts for free. You don't even have to pay for labor or anything. So if you're watching this and maybe you've been kind of putting off um, getting this recall taken care of because you thought it might be expensive, don't worry, there's uh, no cost at all to you. You don't pay a penny for it yourself. Now they may kind of talk you into doing some other maintenance while you're there, but anything that directly pertains to the recall is completely free to you. So um, on this list, it actually even says um, their hours are open six days a week. Uh, there's complimentary shuttle service within 10 miles, multi-point inspection, car wash, and an executive lounge with coffee and snack bar. I've actually only gone to my local dealership, I think maybe two times, um, but it is pretty nice in there. So anyway, it's totally free. You don't have to worry about it. And I would definitely advise if you had this specific issue with the blower motor that you take care of it sooner than later. The odds of your car actually catching on fire are extremely rare, but just knowing that it's a potential hazard, just get this taken care of. It doesn't cost you anything. You really have no excuse not to get it taken care of. And then just so you know, for this exact issue with the blower motor, it's only about an hour of labor. So um, as long as there's nobody ahead of you when you go there, you shouldn't even really have to drop your car off. You should be able to get it taken care of, be in and out and be able to drive home on the same day. So I know that this information is kind of like common sense, but if you did find this video helpful, or maybe I just reminded you of a recall that you have to take care of, just give me a thumbs up and I really appreciate that. So in other news, I did go to the North American International Auto Show last weekend in Detroit. Um, I filmed a little bit. I didn't quite get enough content to make its own uh, standalone video. And personally, I'm not really that into brand new cars anyway. But um, the car that I went down there to see was the new uh, Toyota Supra, um, also known as the Japanese BMW Z4. There's a lot of controversy right now about this car on the internet. If you go on um, any Instagram post, any Facebook post about this, any YouTube video, um, People are definitely divided on this car and I think that for um, Toyota Supra Purist, it's not quite what they were expecting, not quite what they were hoping for after like two decades of waiting for Toyota to finally uh, make a follow up to their uh, legendary 90s car. But um, I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. And uh, with this kind of being somewhat of a BMW channel, definitely a big BMW following, I really wanna get your thoughts on this car um, with the BMW engine and a lot of um, the interior parts are all carried over from BMW. I personally think that it's a really cool collaboration. It might not um, you know, live up to the Supra nameplate, but it's definitely a cool car and seeing it in person, it definitely looks a lot better in person than it does in these uh, press photos that are kind of floating around. Not as cool as the concept car, but I think that's the case with pretty much any concept car. But anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the new BMW Toyota Supra. I know it's kind of strange, but uh, yeah, just leave a comment and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Well, that was anticlimactic.